What is up guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new late night haunted adventure. So I'm here in the railway cottages with Sylvia and my mom. We're gonna be doing a full investigation and we've got full access to this place for as long as we need. Don't forget to drop a like down below, subscribe if you are new, let's do it. I'm just sitting on the floor facing this mirror. I am using candlelight and I'm just staring at myself in the mirror. I'm gonna just put this guy at the top of the stairs. Uh, the lady who owns the house did tell us that this this doll, when taken out of the cupboard that he sits in, which is just down there, he tends to push the other dolls down. And she also said that this doll here is the only one that doesn't actually move. So what I'm gonna do now for the purpose of the camera is I'm gonna straighten all the rest out. So they're all facing all facing forward. Yeah, they all are now. But I'm going to leave him just there. All these dolls here are now straight. So we're going to walk away. And basically, I'm just going to see during the night if anything does change. We also have a REM pod at the top of them stairs, the loud one. The little boy doll I've left. Just just picture in your mind now. Check is it is the way he's standing. He's got one arm up, one arm down. Just want to see if anything changes. That sort of Asian doll in the bag. Didn't really move too well. Um, looks more Russian actually from here. When you buy it, it looks like it's wearing an Asian oriental dress. Um, she didn't move so much, but notice all the rest. I've had put them all straight. She's got a massive head. Like at that one, massive eyes and stuff. This one can't see. Let's help you out, Miss. It's a ball on the stairs. Huh? You want to give us some activity tonight? Hey? You want to try and move these other dolls? No? Like what? I don't know. I touched one of the dolls a few seconds ago, but I've not touched anything since. Literally, just a second before I asked, say, put it down. That one with the green hat on, I moved its hat because it was over its face. But I didn't, I didn't like touch anything. It's safe put it down. Weird. Okay. I've got a REM pod here, guys. It's a homemade REM pod. It's very loud, so I'm going to try and avoid touching it. If it goes off, then that's a good thing, obviously. The lady who owns the house, she did say that these are a number of items that have been picked up sort of been thrown at people during investigations and things. She said, I don't know where any of it's come from. This to me looks like the stuff that you'd find in, in the roof. The room has been plastered. So there's no, nothing like that on show, but you know, like like this stuff here, look, you see? That's that kind of thing. Wow. So yeah, that's, that's what that is if you ask me. She also mentioned leaving this and Scribbles have been happening and uh, could be a signature or something. Just don't know. So, I'm gonna see if anything happens with that. I'm gonna leave that there for the night. You can see there's nothing on it right now. I'm just gonna leave that there and I'm just gonna welcome any, any spirits in this building. If you like to communicate with this, please do so. Let us know who you are, let us know your name, tell us your name, write us your name on there communicate with us through that. I'll, I'll come back in here in the next hour and hopefully something will be on that paper. Let me see what the loft look. Wow, look at the insides of the house, guys. You know, they always say they don't build them like they used to. This is the, the, the point that they don't. The inside of my house is just plasterboard. It's a new build. Nothing like this. Oh my god, there's a gun on the wall. Never saw that before. Now 
nice move, nice. Yes, he was. Hey. Oh. Hello. That that thing on that there, uh, the doorknob keeps catching me as well. The glisten every time I turn around, mm -hmm. it catches me essentially. Oh, you get a laugh then. Yeah. <laughs> what would you say that sounded like there? Like a little girl. Little girl? Would you? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah. That's a girl it, 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 to me, it didn't sound human. Do you know what I mean? It didn't sound like a real laugh, like what I'm trying to say. It didn't sound like someone's just like, <laughs> you know, it sounded like forced, mm -hmm. like the one I did after, or something imitating a laugh, like it didn't sound. That's what, the only thing I got is a little girl because, like, when kids laugh, yeah. they'd be different laughs than they than adults. Have we got Robert here with us? In the kitchen, I just had a right whip or something. It's gone. Just checking it's working. Can we have Robert here, please? Can Robert come forward and talk to us? Sounded like a hello. Same voice again. Okay. But it doesn't sound like a little boy. No, it sounds like a man. Okay. Like a, okay then. Yeah. Okay. Can I sit in this rocking chair? Has anyone got any issues if I sit in this chair? Old lady swapping in this chair, was it? He's gone cold here. Has it, yeah. Can we touch this this device here? If there's somebody here, yeah, it's I can feel. Because yeah, I can feel a cold. It's getting colder. Look. That's all it does. Are you here with me? Can you make the chair move? There's a lot of kiddie voices, isn't there? That's what I heard. Did none of you press that? No. That's I heard a bell. That's it. Yeah. No, oh, I hope the camera picked that up when I was upstairs. Honestly, like that's what I heard. I just realised it's a bell. But you, if that had have happened when I was upstairs and I heard it, you'd have heard it. That's what I can't understand. And it came from away from me. It was downstairs. That's the only bell I've seen. It was a weird, weird voice that was, wasn't it? Not a weird voice, like, what, what did it try to say? It was very clear, wasn't it? Um, that Laura. Laura, the mum. Laura's not a very old-fashioned name, is it? Not that woman's mum. Laura was mentioned on that post. I'm just going to ask one more time, has anybody got any objections to me sitting in this chair? Let me know. Touch that box that's on the chair. And I'll take that box away. Okay, so I'm just sitting in this rocking chair. What's the story about this? It said an old lady's been spotted in it. Yeah. Knitting. Knitting. Like as in an old lady has been seen. Like a like a mm -hmm. I not know the word I'm looking for. Again here. Like an apparition of an old lady. Yes. Laura Williams, she asked for a headstone a few times. Asked for a headstone? Yeah, she wants a headstone done for her. Ah, so through the spirit box, for instance? Yeah, right. but they don't know where the body's buried, so they can't help her. It's cold here. It's just freezing. I feel like, you know, you get goosebumpy. Like, I feel like, bring around my face a little bit. Is this your chair, Laura? Tell us about your headstone. Should we turn the next one off? Was that a voice then coming through there? Oh, I was talking. Did, did you hear it? Yeah. Crystal clear again, wasn't it? Oh, that's happened a few times tonight, that has now. 
was just gonna say, should we turn that off for a bit and then just do some calling out? Okay, so we just started with the necrophonic, we're just trying to kind of build some energy up in the building. When we first arrived, we had a bit of a situation with the coffee maker. We couldn't get it to work, the kettle stopped working. The thing is, I'm probably, you know, stretching a little bit, but it could be something to do with the building. You don't know. Never know. K2's going off. Your, your, all of our phones are on airplane mode. Yeah. And that torch you've got in your hand is one, low voltage, and two, it's off anyway. So it's not going to affect it at all, does not Just... The candle just gone out up there. It's just smoking. Yeah, it's gone out. Yeah, one gone out. Because I can see smoke. K2 again. It's going crazy. It is all of a sudden, yeah? Put it by that wire there. Because she said all the electric is off. It's not, not... It's not doing anything, is it? I feel like it's here. The lady did say um, that the electric in the building is all off. It's, it's currently going through renovation. You can see the brick wall behind me. The long-term plan is she's going to live here, so I'm going to be naming the location or the place. I am going to try and investigate this place a number of times, though, I'm going to be honest. But the K2, nothing's happened with anything so far tonight. No device has gone off. All of a sudden, this K2 is going, going quite wild. It stopped for a second now, but we'll just keep watching it. And it, it was doing it while I was talking to you a minute ago. So there we go. It's, it's trying. Carry on doing that, please. Really grateful for that. Thank you. Use some of our energy. And try and get that light up to the, the red light, if you can, please. Take my energy. Don't take mine, because I haven't got much. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take mine, because I'm driving home after. Sylvia, <laughs> take Sylvia's energy. <laughs> Don't take mine, I need to cook for Simon when I get home. Ah, we'll go McDonald's. Yeah, because we didn't buy bread. So there's other devices we've got lying around. This same box, we have one in the other room, on the table in the corner. If you go and affect that one, we'll be able to hear you because that one does make a sound. If you go and touch that box, it'll make a sound and we'll know you're there. Simple as that. That string's moving on there. I wonder if that stopped since I touched it. It was a while ago, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't have thought any wind would move that because... Well, there isn't any really, is there? This only goes to the stairs there, and everything's covered up. There's no breezes. We're just going to wait for this to settle, and then we're going to re recheck it, because I heard a bile when I was upstairs. I 100% heard a bile. I just thought it was something you'd found, like a trinket in there. Right, has that stopped now? That's stopped now. So let's let's see if that goes off again, because I, I was just saying, once I... It started then. It just started. It started directly in front of me. Yeah. And then stopped again. There's no wind. That's weird. Just gonna try one more time with that. I'm just gonna, just in case, pull it into the room more. We'll let it settle again. Cause that did start moving then. There's, there's, there was the tiniest, tiniest little flow of air coming through there, so I'm just wondering. The thing is, I don't see why it'd affect that here. It's it's here, do you know what I mean? I, I don't know, but I'm just, just going to try anyway and see. We've got Robert, a little boy that died in the kitchen. It's quite a sad story. Well, during the renovation of the house, all these little toys have been found. Not sure if they're yours or not. We've got some lipstick here. It's been found in the garden. It's a very, very old one. The precious spice. We want to know who it belongs to. We don't know anyone's connection to each other. I appreciate it if you can follow my voice. Come to me. 
If you're upstairs, then let us know and we'll come to you. It's weird that you keep having Thomas in your head. Thomas, Brindley and Benjamin Doxy are the ones who died in the mines. Yeah. Yeah. Thomas. The mines are only at the back of the ocean, and she did yeah. say that. The mines are literally over there. She says it's a, it's a, it's in a triangle, do not she? The yeah, yeah. Station, the church, yeah. and this house. I do. I, I keep. I keep getting Thomas. Just keeps. I keep thinking Thomas. I don't know why because. I keep saying about Robert the doll as well, and the boy's name's Robert, and we're playing with dolls, so it's just. Thomas keeps just keep thinking Thomas. You know, Thomas is one of them who got killed. Does Thomas want to come forward and talk to us? We don't know a lot about this place, but what information what information we do have, we're just trying to get you to come forward. Is it one of the photos in the cupboard? Do we need to look at the photos? Do you want us to take a photo? The only names we have is Laurie and Robert. And now Thomas, we hear is a miner. Died in the mine. No, died here in this house. Hung himself on the stairs. Yeah. Are you still around? Still with us, Thomas? Fake Tom? If it was being coal mine, then they would also smell like coal. Exactly, it's gone now. Have you noticed? Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. Mm. Strange that was. And then it comes through there saying it's, it's not me. Children you know what, right, just before that I said that, I've gone really cold around my back. Like, hairs on end cold. Strange. Is there any children around Simon? Do we got Robert here? Or do we got those little... To There's life after death. There's life after death. That's what we're trying to find out. Do you want to explain this to us? What happens when you die? I've got cold around my legs. Yeah, I've got cold around my knees. Cold around... I had it on my back a minute ago, like, freezing. And then it, it's come around to my knees now. My, my knees are generally just cold. Can you bring that smell back to us? You could smell coal, smoke, fire. It's all gone away now. Guys, just so you know, currently I'm just sitting on the floor facing this mirror. I am using candlelight and I'm just staring at myself in the mirror, focusing on my eyes. It's a technique called scrying. Just to morph your face. My eyes look so far apart right now. I feel like the room's spinning. I look like I've got such a lazy eye, like a pug eye. We need to find pictures of these people. I 
honestly, yeah. I, it's my left eye. It looks like it's almost looking down, droopy. My head's moving side to side, Sylvia. I aren't even doing that. The room feels like it's spinning, but I'm not dizzy. Is my head moving? I think you move forward and backwards. Not side to side. Is it black? Honestly, it's happening again. I feel like the walls are moving. To be honest, if you, I don't know if you can see, but it looks like he's going in a circle, like. Yeah. Hmm, circles? Mm hmm. Mm, it's gone really cold up my right hand side. Message. Are you trying to send us a message? Doesn't mean I look pug eyed. I don't think so. Just did a tap on the wall to the right hand side of me. Very faint. Proper old. Oh. Mm-hmm. You're going winkly. Mm. Look under my eyes. Yeah. Yeah, God, Simon, stop it, please. I don't like it. Like mm -hmm. two droops, Santa. Yeah, I really don't like that. Sorry. Like a really rugged old man. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's my eyes, but it looks like his eyebrows are very thick. He's getting like a long beard. Yeah. Mm. I don't know if you can see that. Mm, yeah. yeah. I can't see that. Mm -hmm. Like it's bordering on like a light brown. Hmm. I look like they're crying. My voice is heard. Do I look like I'm crying? It does actually look like it. Looks like I've got tears in my eyes. Mm. Did you hear that upstairs? Was it upstairs? I heard it. Continue to... Try and alter my face in this mirror. We know that you committed suicide. You want to tell us why? Look at my eyes. I look like I'm bursting out crying. Look at the sadness in my face. Can you see that? Yeah. How sad do I look? Got that piggy eyes. Like you know, I've got somebody who's been crying. Squinting. Like squinting eyes, holding mm -hmm. like the tears. That's so weird. Okay guys, so we're gonna do an Ouija board session. We have found an Ouija board here, so we're gonna use it. Um, was meant to bring my own, but I forgot. So I'm not gonna be involved right now because I am just filming at the minute, but I might certainly put my finger on and, and join in a little while. So to start off, we're gonna ask some nice simple questions, hopefully get a bit of something flowy. And we've got a few things to go off now as well. Names. Uh, the name Thomas keeps coming to me, and I didn't even know why at first because you kept correcting me, didn't you? It's Robert, Robert. And I kept thinking, Thomas, Thomas. When Sylvia did a bit of research on there, it turns out that Thomas was actually the name of the, the miner that died here. I just thought, you know, have I turned that spirit talker off? Because it hasn't gone off for a while, has it? I think it is. Did I turn it off completely? I'll have to check in a second. Um, but yeah, we're going to start this Ouija board session. Hopefully, we can make some communication. Um, so I'm going to call upon the spirit world and welcome any kind of spirit to talk to us. Okay, spirits, we call to you. If you're good, come and speak to us. Just 
Peninsula. I've got a very, very heavy, cold feeling on my fingers. Have you really? Have you got anything? No. If anything happens, just speak up. If it starts to move at all, just let me know. We call upon the spirit world and welcome any kind of spirits to talk to us. Okay, spirits, we welcome you to join us at this table. If there's somebody there, can you please let us know by moving this little planchette over to the yes. See the yes on the table? You come and move this over to that yes, please. Is that going? It felt to me like he wanted to go. Do you feel that? Thank you very much. If that's you, please keep trying. You can use our energy. It was vibrating, wasn't it? It's was like it was going. Is it going? Yeah, it's going, I can feel it moving under my finger. So I'm barely touching it. Mm. That's it, come on. If you don't want to go to the yes, I think you've kind of proven you are here. Can you go to the first letter of your name on the board, please? If your name's Thomas, go to the T. If your name's George, go to the G. We welcome anybody to come and join us at this table. It's really like cold breeze on this side of my body, yeah. coming all over my hand. This one's gone cold. Has it? Mm. I can feel cold, but I, I can't feel it from any direction, so it kind of makes sense, really, because you've both said your cold, right and your left. Yeah, I can see. It's definitely tried to move twice. Is that you who's sitting between me and Julie? Would you like us to pull a chair up for you? Move it to the yes if you would like us to pull a chair for you and I'll go and fetch you a chair. Let's try to move down. We come here with positive energy. We come respectfully. We aren't here to do any harm to this building or anybody that resides here. I can understand that you might not understand what's going on. Oh, God, God, may I? Okay. Not us. Oh, that's it went in my eye. I understand it might be hard for you. Try and take our energy, try and use our energy. We're here to communicate with you in your house. Are you willing to come forward? You certainly tried to move it a minute ago and we're so grateful for that. We come here with respect, positivity, We don't bring any negativity here. My hand is icy cold. Can I touch you? Yeah. Yeah, it has to be fair. Is yours like that as well? Mm, both. But I'm like that. <laughs> warm. You're warm. You know, that's what seeds with one of us. To see if that's going to change. Let's just do. Uh, mm. You can touch it if you want. We got a chair here for you. Can you come sit down on it? Join us and communicate with us. If you, I heard that tap yeah, or something, yeah. Yeah, my eye feels like I've got dirt in it. I don't know why. That's weird just started getting funny since we started this. Are you affecting Simon? Hey, when we were looking in the mirror earlier. Yeah. This eye. That I said looked like it was going close like that. Mm. Yeah. 
Okay, we welcome all the spirits in this building. Anybody's welcome to take a seat at this table with us. We bring positive energy. Bring some of your positive energy over to us. Come sit with us at the table. Take it to the first letter of your first name, please. Is that trying to move? Yeah. Twice I've seen it go towards like you kind of thing. You wouldn't be able to pull it with your finger. I know that. I felt it move. I didn't see it. Just a second, as I'm saying. Yeah. Twice I've seen it move. It's 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 juddering like very 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 slightly, but I've seen it move twice. And I was I was just happened to be looking at your fingernail and you're barely touching it. If you don't want to talk to us, we take it to goodbye. At least do that for us, please. If you don't want us here, just just move it to the goodbye and say goodbye to us. Is that your? Ooh, that was very, very cold breeze. Cold was icy. Hmm. I can feel a breeze on the left of me. Mm. You feel it coming to you? I could when I sit in there. I can just a little bit now. I know you've done it many times over, but I'm pleased asking you if you can come and sit with us and, and move this to spell out your name. Can you tell us what year it is? OK, so I'm going to go back upstairs with the camera. just want to see if anything's... Nothing's changed with these dolls. Nothing has really changed. It's very cold on these. I like it here. You like it here? Some very, very cold feeling on the stairs. It's freezing cold here as well. I mean, we are... We are in this section where it's just brick. And I mean, there's a door there, but it's, it's very cold here. I must say, now these stairs apparently or where the lady of the house has been spotted just in this doorway. It's extremely cold here, I'm not gonna lie. The dolls don't appear to have moved at all, guys. I don't even think this, this boy's moved either. Nothing's changed on there anyway. Sorry guys, I was just listening to uh, just listening to Sylvia and my mum downstairs because I could hear them so clearly. I can hear them. Started getting a few little banging sounds, tapping sounds, things like that, but nothing, nothing major yet. Started getting some intelligent responses on the um on the spirit talker app i only go for the intelligent ones anything else i, I just totally ignore them but we started getting some intelligent ones names and things like this we had the word suicide now on these stairs a male the train driver did commit suicide this train driver used to talk to the owner's grandfather or father it might be the father actually when he lived in the house himself, he was a little boy. This train driver used to talk to that little boy. Are you able to tell us your name? I see. Do you see us? What can you see? Can you tell us which room you're in? Nervous. Are you feeling nervous about communicating with us? Mommy. Is that Robert we got here? That was in a child's voice as well. We got some toys here on the table. But it's yours. Are these your toys? Are 
What was your favorite toy? The man, man's voice keeps coming through, but it's so muffled. To the man that keeps coming through to Simon. Hello? Can you try to be Hello? a be uh, the man, then a child. Can you try be a little bit more clear and tell Simon your name, please? Did this house belong to you back in the day? There's a man and a boy talking. I can hear a man and a boy having a conversation. But I can't you know what? Saying. Because you were saying you can't understand what the man was saying. I was asking him to say uh, clear. And as I was trying to say it out, that's where the hellos came from. It was like, hello? But it's a really muffled. The way I can describe it, it's like, it's not muffled like this, it's, it's like, it's almost like, like breaking up, but not the spray box kind of white noise breaking up. It's just a really... Could it be due to being old, very old? You know how they... It's really broken when it's trying to talk. It sounds like a, a glitch. Would you like me to try? Yeah, you can try. I keep hearing the same male voice. I keep hearing it. And I've started hearing a child's. I heard, I heard mommy, I think I heard it twice. And then when the man said hello, it came through all clear. It was like, like it was like, like shocked. Hello. Just after his child, he was like, hello. See, I keep hearing a male's voice. I keep hearing a man speaking in what sounds like a child. Here. Can you please try and be more clear? I I can't understand what you're saying. I'm here. Okay, you're here, but where? Are you standing right around me? Because I'm freezing cold. Knock where you are, please. We've left a lot of devices around the house. Little trigger items, light up or make sounds. If you can use them to let us know where exactly you are, that'd be brilliant. Are you on the stairs? Try and talk clearly into this device. We'll be able to hear your voice. You don't want us here? Are we not welcome in your house? We don't even know who you are. I don't want to leave until we know who you are. Can you tell me your name, please? Let me turn that spirit talker out back on. If any words come through on that. We've got so many devices around the building. Oh, goodness. Goodness what? It's cold. It's cold. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it's not there, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, I can feel it. Goodness, what? Stop. Something I remember. Very distractive. Stop. Yeah. So in, in the message from the lady that owns the house, guys, she did mention there's a spirit here of a male that is very aggressive. Through spirit boxes before now, they have been swore at. I can hear a male. He's in, here. I can hear a male coming through that, and I could hear a child at one time. I don't know what Sylvia can hear, but I, we can hear when the spirit, when the white noise breaks, we can hear that there's a voice there and every now and then she's starting, it's getting quite aggressive, I think. It's telling me to, to leave, it's telling me to move. I said, I'm not moving. It said, call police or get police, something was it? What have we had through there? We had a word through there. Paul, we've had Paul twice now. We've had Paul twice. It says, Paul, Paul the angry ghost. What's Paul gonna do? You okay? Did you see that? See what? I don't know. It was like a sh God knows. What's I up? thought there was a bat in here for a s literally. I swear to God, I just thought there was a bat in front of my face. I was like, ah. Oh. That's weird. Honestly, that was. You seen your that, reaction? That was so weird. 
I felt like a bat had gone up past my face. Was that person going in front of Simon's face then? I swear to God, that was so weird. Man's still here. Come and talk through the box again. Getting quite aggressive a minute ago. You don't scare us, telling us to leave. We're not scared of you. You want us to leave, force us out. We are here to communicate with you. We've been really respectful up until now. We're, we're, we're here, positive energy, positive spirit. We're just trying to communicate. But, unfortunately, I feel like somebody came to us a moment ago. I'm hearing of an angry spirit that, that comes to this building, maybe lives here or owned this building at some point. Tell us, tell us what you think of us. If you want us to F off out of this building, then tell us. Anything you want to say, now's your time. We're all ears. Can you move these bowels? I'm sure I heard them earlier. Robbie. Robbie? That could be Robert. Could be. Like what a mum would call his, his son, or mm. a father would call his son. Robbie. Robbie. What's my Small I had a really gassy smell then. No. It's gone. Just came. Gassy smell. That could be the mind. Could be. Love this chair. So comfortable. Isa, do you want to come? <laughs> I'm not very good knitter though. You want to come and teach me how to knit? You got any messages for us? Could have the old lady saying, please take care. Be careful. Like that smell of smoke again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a strong smell of smoke. Mm -hmm. It even went that quick. We just passed by us. Would this be Tom, the miner, or your friend? We're not sure your friend's name. Or will it be the train driver? Because I can imagine in all of your lines of work, you will smell of smoke when you come home. Cold again. Yeah? Really mm. cold around. Something came in the room. Nothing came in the room. Smell followed by. I'm keep feeling cold. like something's coming from there into here and going in there. The person who hung themselves was coming through to you, having tear tears in their eyes because they're feeling guilty. They want to cry. Just come upstairs out the way. Sometimes I always find when women can be left on their own, different things can happen. I always say it, I always stand by it. So I've left them two downstairs alone. Uh, they do have a camera with them, so I'm going to be including both lots of footage. As you can see, I am away and let's just flick it a little bit. I'm sorry. You say I'm a woman? Oh God. I'm sorry, I thought either Robbie or the little queen. So I'm really surprised tonight. Like we've had very little activity with regards to the K2, the cat balls we've got, the REM pods. Um not nothing activity wise like that has happened. The all the equipment has been very, very dormant. Now we did the Ouija board session and the planchette we didn't get movements that you can probably see but we did have twice where it moved and I, I saw it and i felt it but there's there's no way the only person that could have moved it would have been my mom but she was barely touching it and i seen it move twice so something was trying to affect it any of the spirits in the house want to come to me i'm on my own i'm in a bedroom want to come to me
Okay, so that is going to be the end of this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, don't forget to drop a like down below and subscribe if you are new. You've been watching me explore beyond with Sylvia and my mom tonight on this paranormal investigation in the railway cottage. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.